So hey guys welcome back to HZ Sports. Thank you for stopping by for another video and yes a little new setup. I think for some videos I'm going to you know record here but forget that forget that for the moment we are going with two of the biggest discussions that were happening. One I promised that I would tell you all and that was Sergio Lobeva's situation. Is he joining ATK Moon Bagan? Is it fake? I think Mario has already said uh, that it is uh, fake and most likely it's not happening but you know it's ATK Moon Bagan. Where there is money 8k Mohun Bagan will directly come in and pay so I'm going to tell my opinion as a city football group uh, fan I know almost all city football group clubs okay the China one is tough little but I can at least speak and vouch for y'all what it could happen so this will be good part for 8k Mohun Bagan fans and the second part will be interesting for Mumbai city fans and that is will Mumbai city get the golden Yes, I'm talking about the golden ISL shield. Now, if you all don't know that, I'll explain later. But mostly when a club goes unbeaten the entire season, they get a golden trophy. Okay, it has happened before. Uh, in the Premier League, I think most notably everyone recollect when Arsenal won the league unbeaten, they were given a golden Premier League trophy. Uh, is it happening in the Indian Super League? Will Mumbai City get a golden ISL shield? I'll explain to that in this video. Now, before I go into the Sergio Lobeva discussion, guys, you're new to the channel. You like football content like this? Then hit the subscribe button, you know, please. So yeah, apart from that, that, that's the only thing I wanted to say. Now let's talk about Sergio Lobeva. Now I think all of you all know, Sergio Lobeva is no, uh, you know, no person that nobody knows in Indian Super League. Destroyed the Indian Super League with FC Goa. Then joined Mumbai and completely uh, nuked uh, ISL at a large. He became the first and only Indian co I mean coach to win both the ISL trophy and the ISL shield. An achievement yet to be done by anyone but considering the way Des Buckingham is handling Mumbai City, it could be broken, okay? It is possible. Now, Sergio Lobeva first came at FC Goa, played well, got, got a part in some controversy, was kicked out just a match or two before uh, FC Goa eventually won the ISL Shield. And he was not allowed to celebrate with FC Goa. So much so that he ended up at Mumbai City after the Mumbai City takeover. He signed the players he wanted. I remember at that time it was a huge genesis when so many FC Goa players joined Mumbai City. Uh, it was a rampage and Sergio Lobeva showed his class. He won the ISL Shield, won the ISL Trophy and gave Mumbai City a chance to play in the Asian Champions League. Okay, next season was going out fine. He got some of his signings like Mohamed Nawaz, uh, Vaigar Katatao, uh, Casio Gabriel, some players that uh, he wanted to sign. But then suddenly something uh, shocking happened. Sergio Lobeva left Mumbai City. Suddenly, mid-season, he became one of the first coaches who won both the trophies and left the club. Okay, and joined uh, Shinchi Juan. A Chinese club that is owned by City Football Group. City Football Group, I believe, owns about 20 to 40 percent stake of that club. Uh, some, they are not the majority holders, but that is their uh, only uh, club that they do own. And they decided to get Sergio Lobeva there. So Sergio Lobeva became the coach there. Uh, then the season ended and he decided that he wanted to do some things. I think we all know then what happened. He took George Otis of FC Goa, he took Hernan Santana from Northeast United and he took Edu Garcia from Hyderabad. Three ISL foreign players went there. Now he ended up six this season. Mind you, the top three teams only get promoted in the Chinese League One. They are playing in the second division there. So the top three teams get promoted. His team sadly failed to do that. They ended up six, no promotion. I think we know what happened to Hanan Santana. He came and he joined uh, FC Goa at the moment. Okay, but the question remains: Is will Sergio Lobeva also leave Shinji Juan? Now, if you're a new old person of my channel, you know I have covered Sergio Lobeva about three times before in my uh, videos, explaining what is Sergio Lobeva's situation and Shinji Juan. I I think it's no uh, question about it. But to be honest, the fact that he would leave. And uh, CT Football Group owned. Actually, he's not under Shinji Juan. Mind you, even when he was in Mumbai City, he was not under Mumbai City. He's basically a coach employed by City Football Group, which includes all the clubs owned by CFG, which includes, uh, you know, Melbourne City, uh, Yokohama Marinos, uh, Mumbai City, Shinji Juan, Palmeiros, Troyes, uh, Talk, 
जिओना मैनचेस्टर सिटी न्यूयॉर्क सिटी बॉलीवाल ईसी बाहिया ऑल दिस क्लब दैट आर ओन्ड बाय सिटी फुटबॉल ग्रुप ही कै ही इज यू नो लाइक एन एम्प्लॉयर ऑफ आई मीन एम्प्लॉई ऑफ दैम ही इज नॉट एन एम्प्लॉई ऑफ शिंशी जॉन ही वॉज नॉट एन एम्प्लॉई ऑफ वॉट इज दैट मुंबई सिटी सो विल ही लीव सच अ प्रोमिनेंट रोल एंड जॉइन ए टी के मोहन बगान the only thing that etk mohan bagan going for them to say that this could possibly happen is the fact that etk mohan bagan are ready to give sajol lobera a huge salary which has never been seen before in uh, indian super league history okay so that he would leave shinchi juan and maybe an unlimited transfer budget that is what i think uh, you know it ke mon bagan will have to offer him because the thing is that such a lobera has been promised like all the employees of uh, city football group the better you do the higher position you get uh, i'll just just give you some examples okay uh, i think we all knew that uh, des buckingham before becoming mumbai city head coach was the assistant head coach of melbourne city okay then uh, current uh, melbourne city's current coach has left them and is i think playing for uh, is the new coach for troyes in uh, league 1 the french french league so currently there there's a caretaker coach then sergio lobera situation also same succeeded in mumbai he was sent uh, to shinchi juan same thing happened so all the members of uh, indian uh, the city football group own clubs you know they just go, go change their job maybe they may be the head coaches maybe they become assistant coaches maybe uh, they are given technical director some some position they have so if you if you atk mohan bagan fans if you all want uh, sergio lobera you all will have to offer him something huge that city football group cannot offer and let's agree that doesn't exist at the moment okay with atk mohan bagan maybe in the future when atk mohan bagan becomes a common team reaching asian champions league i see it possible that uh, they would you know be able to do something like that but at least for the moment no i'm sorry it's highly unlikely i won't say it's completely impossible but it's highly unlikely that sergio lobera will leave shinchi juan for uh it came mohan bagan at least for the moment because city football group is in the question here now talking about other things and that is mumbai city we know mumbai city are top of the table they have won uh, the they have won the isl shield against fc when they played against fc goa and won their 5-3 so but till now you have not you have seen there's no shield celebration yet okay the shield has not been given to mumbai city it will be given to them at the end of the season most likely because because there is a chance i won't say for 100% sure but there is a chance that mumbai city may get the golden shield now what is this difference in the golden shield and why this concept has come well i'll explain to you in the most simple of english terms whenever a team goes unbeaten okay they have won all their matches or they have won and drawn all their matches they are given a golden trophy okay the reason why is because winning a trophy is easy coming first but going unbeaten the entire season is very difficult and this is something that mumbai city have done so far so there is a possibility that uh, uh, the indian super league may consider giving a golden tro- uh, shield for mumbai city now this has happened before it has happened for Olymp- olympiakos the greek club I believe they were given a golden trophy when they went unbeaten. It will have most famously it has happened to Arsenal when Arsenal won uh, the golden Premier League because they were unbeaten that entire season. So yes, it is a possibility. The question remains now is that nobody in the uh, you know nobody in F F S D L or the I F F have ever expected an Indian club to go unbeaten the entire season. At least not so fast. so i think there will be a special meeting between aiff and fsdl uh, you know our stakeholders to consider the fact if they should give actually uh, you know a proper trophy a golden trophy to uh, mumbai city if they w- remain unbeaten entire season mind you they have to play uh, bengaluru and east bengal before this so if they even if they lose there they may uh, not get the, the trophy but uh, yes if mumbai city do go unbeaten there is a 50 50 
50% chance that FSDL and AIFF may consider giving Mumbai City a golden shield. Uh, maybe not also. They may consider that, you know, even though it's unbeaten, the number of teams are less so far. And in the future, when they uh, get 14 teams in the Indian Super League, that time it will be of more value. It could be possibility. Uh, I won't comment anything more about it. I'll just say that there is a chance that Mumbai City may get a golden ISL shield. So stay tuned for that guys. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I know it's become quite long. But hope you all enjoyed it. Okay. And yes, get ready for this background for some time. I will consider doing some changes to make it more interesting maybe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like, share, subscribe. See all your more videos coming soon in the near future. Goodbye. Take care. Stay safe.